So this is um, some of my own take on the theory of integral nursing, a summary of highlights that I hope will add to your understanding and add to uh, Dr. Dossie, Barbie's video that she made especially for our program and um, add to your reading and study and articles and resources that are posted uh, in the course resources module and in our learning module. So um, I'm gonna start off with some notes that I have made and some things that have been important to me over the years of studying this theory. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, share my screen and go to the uh, nursing theory textbook, chapter 13, because I have some, I think some highlights that will, uh, that I also want to uh, want to emphasize. So, um, in starting off, uh, so the theory of integral nursing is uh, is is one of the foundations of our uh, holistic RN to BSN program. As as you know, uh, Barbie, Dr. Barbara Dossi lives in Santa Fe. She's been very involved and helpful and um, adding information concepts to our curriculum and highlights our curriculum in her, in her uh, holistic, uh, holistic nursing handbook for practice uh, text book. And, um, and she's, uh, she's a, a, a lovely, beautiful, internationally known um, holistic nurse leader. So I think we're very fortunate to have her and for her to have made this video for us. So um, in looking at uh, some of the things I wanna add to the theory of integral nursing is to start with the meaning of theory. So what is a theory? Because we have all kinds of theories and all of our, all of everything we study in this course is theoretical. It is a nursing theory. So what does theory mean? Um, it is, it is a, uh, a body of science, a body of, that includes facts, principles, concepts, um, ac accepted principles. Um, it's, it's a way of explaining certain phenomenon. And that certainly is, uh, I think that, that very relatable as far as the theories that we study in this course. We explain nursing through the theories that have been developed and used in practice uh, over, over, over lots of years, beginning with Florence Nightingale. And um, so uh, theory of integral nursing is a relatively new theory, but we have theories, um, uh, nurse-patient relationship theory for one that I studied when I, years and years and years ago, as a, as a beginning uh, nursing student. So we have beautiful theories. Uh, I, would, I would consider all theories to be holistic because they, um, they address uh, the, the whole person, the body, mind, spirit, environment, relationships, internal and external environment, nursing practice. So uh, definitely all the theories that that I have added to this course are holistic. So it's, it's a way to define, it's a way to explain phenomenon. And then, um, and then going a little bit further with the theory of integral nursing. And one of the reasons I want to do this video is because it is a grand theory. And grand theories by definition and by inclusion of explanations, concepts, principles. Um, oh, I'm going to back up just a minute. Uh, so the other thing about theories is they're not they're not proven. I'm uh, part they're 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 accepted uh, as as valid. And uh, but they're they, they're not proven or they may not even be pro provable. So, um, so uh, 
anyway, I wanted to add that. So, but a grand theory, the theory of integral nursing is a grand theory. And what this means is it is abstract. It's very abstract. It is full of so many meanings, insights, um, explanations, guidance, ways to practice, ways to look at nursing, ways to look at health, ways to look at our environment, and especially how to look at healing. So it's full, it's, it's, it's chock full of all kinds of concepts, principles, explanations. So one of the reasons I mentioned this is because it takes study, it takes time, it takes thought, it takes reflection, and it takes use in practice. Um, and that's a little bit iffy uh, about grand theories because uh, they are so abstract. Abstract, But anyway, um, so we'll try, try it out, use parts of it. One of the things, another thing I wanna say about nursing theory is that you are gonna find those that you love, that speak to you very personally. And these are the ones that you're going to use in your in your practice and in your life. There are also certain theories that are applicable in different situations. So um, one theory may apply really, really strongly here. Another may apply much more specifically and strongly in another area, such as um, the theory of successful aging. I and mean, I, I kind of think that applies across the board, but then as we begin to age, we look more and more specifically uh, at how we can age successfully. But anyway, going on uh, with this theory uh, of integral nursing, and I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use chapter 13 in our nursing theories, uh, nursing practice text, because I've got it pulled up as an ebook. And so that's going to be real easy for me to, to reference. Um, there's also chapter three, beautiful, beautiful chapter in this textbook. And then there is more information in uh, holistic nursing, ANA, AHNA, scope and standards of, uh, of holistic nursing practice. So all three of these books are wonderful, wonderful resources. Um, so the theory of integral nursing, it's, um, and Dr. Dossi uses the word integral nurse, integral health, integral healing, integral worldview, uh, all of the mind, body, spirit, nature, environment, relationship, internal, external, all, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a very comprehensive whole, W-H-O-L-E, way of looking at health, healing, the major concepts that it, that it addresses, the meta paradigm of nursing, the patterns of knowing, the uh, main principles of the theory of integral nursing, which are the I, the we, the it, and the its. So um, lots and lots of theories are incorporated, a lot of reference to our wonderful, beautiful Florence Nightingale. Um, but it begins with asking the question, why, why am I here? What am I doing here? And this is, a, this is an everything in life uh, because I look back over my uh, 50 some odd years as a nurse and, and living. Um, everything is evolving and developing. So we are continually evolving and developing. And in answering the question, why am I here? I am, uh, I am uh, on a path of self-development and I hope a path of self-wisdom, purpose, reflection, growing. And I am amazed in my 76th year at new insights and awarenesses and, and ways of relating and being. I am amazed at how this is, this is still developing in me. And I love it. I just absolutely love it. It strengthens my passion for healthy living and wholeness. 
And um, one of the things that I love so much about this program is that I do get to teach what I love and I get to teach what I live. And so uh, that's a little personal thing. So, but what, what, do, what am I doing? What am I doing? A question. What am I doing that helps humanity? How do I live that helps humanity? How am I a role model of health and healing and wholeness? Um, and and so that's uh, what I get to what I get to pass on to my students and hopefully to everyone in my life. Um, so a little bit more about the theory of integral nursing being a grand theory. It looks at everything, physical, emotional, mental, social, spiritual, cultural, environment, um, as well as, as, as a local, national, global health and healing. Uh, so uh, uh, some of this I'm, I'm kind of quoting out of the book, which is fine and dandy because I love it. Um, so one of the things that, that you'll want to really examine and, and it's, it's certainly part of your assignment of, uh, in your learning team are paradigms and meta paradigms. So um, each part of the meta paradigms of nursing, the four meta paradigms of nursing begins with a, 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 a looking at, I'm, I'm gonna back up, look at look, what is a paradigm. So a paradigm um, is a way of looking at something. It's how we view something. It's uh, a lot of what's in our world. We view from the focus of a paradigm. So a paradigm is perhaps something that we believe about relationships, um, about eating. How do we eat? One of the paradigms, and then we talk about paradigm shifts. So a huge paradigm shift that I made years and years and years ago, because we know the the um, uh, the um, Department of Agriculture, the food pyramid. And that's, I mean, goodness gracious, I studied that in nutrition and it was like uh, everywhere. And I have made a huge paradigm shift. I don't believe in that at all. I don't believe it fits our, our society at all. I don't, I don't believe it fits our way of living. And that's a, that's a whole, that's a whole different topic. But a paradigm shift is like a moment of aha. Oh my goodness. This is what I've always thought. And now I have a totally new way of thinking or viewing this. So it may be relationships. I've had some huge paradigm shifts in relationships. How we view ourselves. Um, maybe uh, so going back, a shifting from the industrial revolution to the digital revolution, to the internet. Um, how did we communicate? Now we have cell phones and and uh, the internet and computers. So anyway, so that's uh, that's a bit of uh, so about paradigms. And then a meta paradigm is uh, it, it, it's a whole. It's a way of explaining and looking at a. a Kind of a whole holistic concept. So our meta paradigms of nursing at the center is health. And then we have the nurse, the person, and the environment. And that helps us explain how all of these work, the interchange, and how health is at the center. Um, so uh, one of the things about nursing theory and the theory of integral nursing is it is healing is always at the center and it is a process. We say nursing life is a lifelong process in healing. 
and and I certainly uh, certainly believe that and have experienced it. And then we look at types of knowing. And um, I'm going to go into this a little bit more when I show the chart on the different types of knowing. Um, of sensory knowing, and I do expand on Dr. Dossie's sensory knowing, intuitive knowing, faith or spiritual knowing, memory, um, gathering knowledge, understanding, experiential knowing. So we look at all these ways of knowing that guide our living and our practice. Um, not knowing, not knowing is a big part of knowing being open, being open to learning and exploring new ways of knowing, um, but a little bit more about those. And then the, the four principles of integral uh, nursing, integral nursing theory are the I, the it, the we, and the its. So um, I think this may be a good time to switch to chapter 13, and I need to go back and share my screen. So uh, this is chap, this is the, the ebook. This is, uh, uh, so I'll talk a little bit, use some information from uh, the text, the nursing theory text. So when we look at the um, at the components of uh, oops, just went away. Coming back, the components of the theory of integral nursing. We start with looking at healing, and uh, how healing is is a process. It's a part of every every human being and um, what are the challenges to healing, but hopefully we're, we're moving, we learn, uh, we teach others, we guide others in how to move towards healing. And then healing is always at the center of the meta paradigms. So we have healing and then we have the nurse, the health, the person and the environment. And all of these are constantly interchanging, but it's a way to kind of organize uh, looking at this these phenomenons. And so uh, I love chapter 13 because I, I feel like it explains the theory of integral nursing uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an understandable way, even though it does take study and application. Uh, but uh, so read all of that. And then all of the types of knowing that impact healing. So, and this is what Dr. Dossie talks about, these types of heat, of knowing, personal knowing, uh, empirical knowing, which is scientific data, um, sociopolitical what's going on sociologically, what's within our society, um, how's, do, do, how does what's going on politically impact our knowing? And we certainly have experienced that um, above and beyond. <laughs> so in an ethical knowing, um, and that's a way of knowing, it's almost, um, well, we have to study it, uh, but we know what is right and we uh, include what is right. Aesthetic knowing, which is more a uh, kind of experiential. What do we learn from our feelings, from our values, from our experiences, and how does this add to our knowing? And then not knowing, which is kind of one of my, uh, well, I love them all, but looking at not knowing uh, being open to new insights, new knowledge, new awarenesses. So um, you'll learn more about the uh, about all of those. And then the four principles the, of, of the theory of integral nursing, which are the I, the it, 
the we and the its. And again, this is a way of explaining um, explaining healing and healing practices. So on the left-hand side, we have the I and the we, which are open to interpretation and they're qualitative. And by qualitative, um, this is more this is more personal having to do with opinions, with beliefs, with um, experiences, and um, not necessarily have uh, factual. And then on the right hand side we have the it and the its, and these are uh, quadrants that are ex more explainable by measurement and by quantitative observable um, facts analysis. So the I of the, the, the quadrant is, it's me, it's, it's always me, and each of us are I. So it's, it's, it's what I bring to, to the experience. It's subjective. It's personal, it's intentional, it's my values, it's my beliefs. Uh, it's all of the things that make up the I of me. And then we have the we, which is the shared experience between, I'll just say, two I, I, in quotes, in quotations, individuals, um, and it could be more than could be more than two. It could be a group, but anyway. So it's what we share, and and then uh, so much in healing is we share the it, which is with patience. The it is what's going on objectively, biologically, behaviorally, um, and how do we work together to address healing. Um, so the we is, is the interchange, what is subjective about the interchange between you and me, between I and you, and then cultural, shared values, shared goals. And the thing about healing that, that, that moves, moves you beyond, um, uh, moves you into holistic nursing practice is the goals are shared. The goals of healing are shared. Of course, we want, we, I want certain things for my patients. I want things for my students, but what, what is shared? What, how do we, how do, how do we identify the goals and how to move and where to move and how do we share that? And then the it, again, what's going on uh, biologically? What do we observe about behavior? And this is all scientific through lab work, through diagnostics and, and all of that kind of thing. And then the it's moving into what's the system? What's the structure? How does all this happen within a system and a structure? So the it's, is it a hospital? Is it a, a, a nursing unit? Is it a department? Um, so again, looking at systems that support our objective of healing, support our direction into healing. So that's a very simplified um, kind of, of summary of that. And um, <laughs> then what else? Did I okay. And then again, more on this, on this, on healing as the center and all everything that impacts healing. So everything in our lives impacts our health and healing. How does we use all of those areas to move toward healing? And then one of the amazing, amazing, amazing diagrams, I don't know if I can make that small enough, but you will look at this one, is taking all of the components of everything that, that makes up the theory of integral nursing and impacts. And so this diagram, it's overlays and overlays of meanings and concepts and principles, again, all with healing at the center. So um, let me go back to, see if 
there's anything else. So anyway, at the, I, yeah, this is this is just study this and let it let it sink in, let it marinate. And uh, again, it takes it takes a it takes a it takes a good long while, um, uh, and bit by bit. Uh, again, it's a grand theory and it's abstract. And and other theories are mid-range theories and they're more applicable to practice, applicable to your life. Um, this is a way to look at, uh, at kind of everything. So uh, I want to see what else I wanted to share with you. Uh, So um, I think this is kind of a good stopping place and hopefully it's added a little bit more to, uh, to, the, uh, to the theory of integral nursing video that Dr. Dossi made for us. And then look at the, uh, at the article, the, the resource on the, the meta paradigms of nursing that is in the course resources module. And, um, and I hope this has helped. And thank you very much. And I wanted it to be not too, too terribly long. So I think this is a pretty good stopping place. So I appreciate your looking at it and we'll continue this, this dialogue and this, and this lesson. One of the things about, uh, I'll just add, is a theory of integral nursing is woven into each of the courses in our program. So you get a lot of chance to study and practice and, and learn more about it. So thank you.